We can't afford electric vehicles, and we don't know where the electricity is to charge them is going to come from. I call this a mess. Electric cars may represent the future of transportation, but many EV owners now want out. The anticipated revolution in electric vehicles, EVs, appears to be hitting a speed bump. Despite a surge in electric car sales in 2022 and the first half of 2023, the excitement among buyers has dwindled, putting the ambitious plans for a swift transition away from traditional gas-powered cars at risk. In the wake of the promising momentum seen in 2022, the current lacklustre interest in EVs raises questions about the sustainability of the electric vehicle revolution. The initial enthusiasm might be waning, and this shift in consumer sentiment could undermine the rapid transition plans that were once on the horizon. But why are EV owners now having a change of heart? Let's embark on this enlightening ride and discover why EV owners now want gas cars. Despite the growth of the electric vehicle EV market in 2023, the surge in sales hasn't matched the initial high expectations. Even with the introduction of new models, price reductions and substantial tax credits aimed at lowering costs for buyers, the pace of EV sales hasn't accelerated as anticipated. EV owners are tired and after the Tesla Cybertruck failed to meet expectations, people just want gas guzzlers. Even automakers, unprepared for the sudden change of heart, are now adjusting their strategies in response. In recent months, notable players in the EV space have made strategic moves. Tesla, which has been a prominent leader in the EV market, has once again slashed prices. Ford, facing the reality of the market, scaled back production of its F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck and postponed $12 billion of planned EV spending. Mercedes-Benz's CFO, Harold Wilhelm, characterised the EV market as a brutal space, prompting the company to implement vehicle discounts. Having faced setbacks, General Motors delayed the launch of three models and stepped back from a public commitment to produce 400,000 EVs by the end of 2024. Acknowledging the shifting landscape, Honda announced the cessation of joint plans with GM to develop affordable EVs. These strategic adjustments by major automakers underscore the challenges and complexities within the evolving electric vehicle market. At Toyota, where the focus has been on hybrids rather than fully electric vehicles (EVs), Chairman Akio Toyoda candidly conveyed to reporters that people are finally seeing reality. Even EV owners now want gas cars. But why is this? The burning issue. Now, many studies have shown that electric vehicles (EVs) do not pose a greater fire risk than their gasoline-powered counterparts. However, the real challenge lies in effectively combating an EV fire, with conventional firefighting methods proving ineffective. While it's been established that the overall risk of an EV catching fire is not higher, the issue centres around the difficulty in extinguishing such fires. Traditional firefighting methods, which are generally successful with conventional vehicles, fall short when dealing with EVs. Unlike combustion engine cars, where removing oxygen is a primary firefighting tactic, EVs have self-sufficient oxygen sources within their batteries, rendering this method ineffective. The intensity of EV fires is exacerbated by a phenomenon known as thermal runaway. Once a single cell ignites, the fire can rapidly escalate and the standard firefighting techniques struggle to contain it. To extinguish an EV fire, the drastic measure of submerging the vehicle in water is often required. Even then, there is no guarantee of immediate success and post-fire precautions, such as keeping the EV isolated for a few days, are taken by the fire departments. The challenges associated with electric vehicle fires have often led EV owners to contemplate a return to traditional gasoline vehicles. Despite the overall safety of EVs and ongoing efforts to enhance firefighting strategies, the spectre of fire incidents, particularly those catching fires and burning entire homes, has cast a shadow over the confidence of certain EV owners. The environmental impact lie. The assertion of zero emissions, often touted as a key advantage of electric vehicles, is under scrutiny as the broader environmental impact of these vehicles comes into focus. 
While it's true that EBs produce no tailpipe emissions during operation, a comprehensive assessment must consider other factors contributing to their environmental footprint. Unless an electric vehicle is directly connected to a solar, wind or hydro-powered station, its environmental impact is tied to the energy mix of the electricity grid. In many regions, including a significant proportion of the United States, electricity generation relies heavily on natural gas, nuclear and coal sources. This means that the environmental credentials of an EV are compromised if the electricity used to charge it is produced through less sustainable means. Additionally, studies have raised questions about the overall greenhouse gas emissions associated with the production of electric vehicles. While manufacturers are increasingly incorporating renewable energy sources in their production processes, several studies indicate that the production of an EV may emit more greenhouse gases than that of an equivalent internal combustion engine car. The core components of EV batteries, including lithium, nickel, cobalt and various other metals, are sourced through mining, a practice known for its environmental and ethical challenges. This connection to mining activities is crucial for EV production and extends to the infrastructure supporting them, such as charging stations. Cobalt, in particular, stands out as a concerning element due to its association with ethical concerns. The Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, currently serves as a major source of cobalt, with troubling reports of child labour prevalent in the mining industry. This has raised ethical questions about the sustainability and morality of relying on such resources to produce components integral to electric vehicles. While the zero tailpipe emission claim has been a pivotal selling point, the realisation that the overall environmental impact extends beyond just the operation of the vehicle has left certain owners disillusioned. Electricity taxes In recent times, a growing sentiment among electric vehicles EV owners suggests a realisation that the EV experience is not without its challenges, with concerns ranging from exorbitant charging fees to increasingly crowded charging stations. While EVs were initially heralded as a cleaner and more efficient alternative, the practicalities of ownership are proving to be more complex than anticipated. One notable frustration revolves around the high charging fees associated with certain companies, notably Tesla, which now employs a permanent charging fee after the vehicle surpasses 80% battery capacity at busy charging stations. This pricing model has sparked discontent among EV owners now facing unexpectedly steep charges, adding an unexpected financial burden to their ownership experience. Compounding this issue is the perpetual congestion at charging stations. EV owners frequently encounter crowded charging stations, leading to a situation where some individuals are compelled to wait for an available charging spot for extended periods. The situation has escalated to the point where reports highlight instances of EV owners sleeping in their cars as they wait for a charger to become available, ensuring they have sufficient juice for the next day. The irony of EV owners facing such challenges at charging stations intended to facilitate convenient and efficient recharging underscores the current hurdles in the electric vehicle landscape. The growing popularity of EVs, while a positive indicator of the shift towards sustainable transportation, has inadvertently led to a strain on charging infrastructure, causing inconvenience and frustration for owners. The increasing adoption of EVs without adequate infrastructure expansion and improved charging protocols could also exacerbate the current challenges. In response to these challenges, some EV owners are expressing a desire for a return to traditional gas-powered vehicles. Price and expenses The allure of electric vehicles EVs, has been tempted by the realisation that ownership comes with its own set of financial challenges. One significant concern revolves around insurance costs, where EV owners now face higher premiums than their counterparts with traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. This trend is partly attributed to the expensive components of EVs, such as advanced battery systems, which can contribute to increased repair and replacement costs. High maintenance expenses further compound the financial burden of EV ownership. While the general perception is that EVs require less maintenance due to fewer moving parts, 
The reality is that when maintenance is required, the costs can be notably higher. Battery replacement, in particular, stands out as a major contributor to these elevated maintenance costs. The expense of replacing a worn-out or deteriorating battery pack can be a significant financial setback for EV owners. Depreciation adds another layer to the financial considerations of EV ownership. Despite their initial high purchase prices, EVs tend to depreciate rapidly, often more so than traditional vehicles. This depreciation factor contributes to the total cost of ownership and can be a concern for those considering the resale value of their EVs. These financial challenges have prompted some EV owners to reconsider their choice of electric vehicles, with a growing number now switching to traditional gasoline cars. The appeal of lower insurance premiums, potentially lower maintenance costs and more predictable depreciation rates are factors that contribute to this shift in preference. So what are your thoughts on the current landscape of electric vehicles? Have you experienced any of the challenges discussed? Or do you have a different perspective on EV ownership? Share your insights in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video informative. For more engaging content on the future of transportation and beyond, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until our next discussion, drive safe.